Hey, I'm Matthew Muscoviak, and we're going to take a look at the Vizio VHT212. This is one of the latest soundbar systems from Vizio and is currently selling for around $290 online. This is the slickest looking soundbar Vizio has made yet. It has a slim profile at just 1.9 inches deep, and the glossy black finish is nicely accented by the silver end caps and the angled metal feet. There's a display on the front, which not every soundbar has, and it's nice because it lets you know how high the volume is or what input you're on. The included subwoofer is wireless, so you can place it nearly anywhere in your living room, and it's relatively thin too. You can control the soundbar using the buttons on the top, or you can use the included remote, and it's really a great remote. It's dead simple, with just power, volume, and mute buttons, and then you can slide the bottom out for even more functions, like selecting inputs or even adjusting the subwoofer level. Remotes on soundbars are generally pretty bad, but this one's a winner. Around back, there's actually a lot of connectivity options, including two HDMI inputs, both optical and coaxial digital audio inputs, and a mini jack input. So even if you end up connecting everything to your TV first, it's nice to have all that flexibility in case you run out of inputs on your TV. Sound quality on the VHT215 is really quite good for a budget soundbar. It sounds good out of the box, but again, the ability to adjust the bass, treble, and subwoofer levels right on the remote is great if you like to tweak the sound. It sounded better than Yamaha's YS-101 on movies, and it was very close to Hire's excellent SBEV40 Slim, although the Hire sounds a little bit better with two-channel music. But still, the Vizio is one of the best-sounding budget soundbar systems we've tested. So overall, the Vizio VHT215 is a stylish soundbar with a ton of inputs and solid sound quality, especially if you like the ability to adjust the sound. The competing higher SBEV40 Slim is a little bit better overall, but it's very close and the Vizio is definitely worth considering. I'm Matthew Muscoviak and this is the Vizio VHT215.